Hey everybody, Nate Chamberlain here talking to you about renaming the attachments column. Now in a previous video I talked about how the attachments column is built into every SharePoint list or Microsoft list list that you have and you can disable it so check out that video if you want to turn that off. But if you just want to rename it and maybe repurpose it, like in my case here I've got my vendor list, I click on new, I'm filling out vendor contact details, maybe I want to attach a flyer or some kind of documentation about that vendor, maybe their pricing sheet. Um, but I don't want to call it attachments. Sounds a little bit too much like email, right? So uh, traditional methods I might use to rename a column would be dropping down the column header. So if you do have it in your view, you could drop it down, go to column settings, and you'll notice there's not an edit option here or a rename option. Okay, so that one's out, I can't go that route. Another thing you might do with a traditional column is go to the settings wheel, go to list settings, and you would look for it in the column section here and you would want to rename it here. But once again, there's no attachments column here. So what we're gonna do is we're, we are gonna go to list settings where I am right now. Again, that's settings wheel and then list settings and then just click on any of the columns that you do see there. So for example, I might go to my created column. Okay, created is another column that's built into every SharePoint list. Now at the very top here in the URL, we're focused on the very end where it says and field equals and then the name of the column. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of trickery here and we're gonna say, let's uh, find that attachments column. So I replace created with attachments, just like you see here. I hit enter and it'll take me to the column settings page for attachments, even though I couldn't get there by clicking around. So here we are, I'll rename it to supporting documentation maybe, or maybe it's you know business information, flyers again, pricing sheets, whatever it is that you want this attachment column to be used for. Maybe add a description if you wanna give your users some guidance about how to use this column or what it's best used for. And then I'll go down and I'll click okay when I'm finished. All right, now going back to our list, let's see if that worked. Perfect, so here we are. It's a little bit too long, so keep that in mind as you're renaming your column. But here's supporting documentation. I click on new, I just wanna make sure it's everywhere, and there it is, supporting documentation. Great. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind too is something kinda new, these uh, templates that we can use uh, in SharePoint or with Microsoft List. All right, so I click on new, I choose list, and then let's choose one of these new templates like um, with the issue tracker. And I'll use that, I'll go ahead and create it. We'll call it two since I already have one. There we go, I click on new. Let's go ahead and create an item right away. I just wanna show you that some of these new templates that you can use have an attachments column as well, but they've already renamed it. So in this case with the issue tracker template, they're calling it associated files. So if you wanna rename it to something else, again, when you're using a template or maybe you inherited a list that somebody started from a template and you wanna rename that, it's the same method. We'll still go to our settings wheel. We'll go to list settings. Uh, we'll go down to our column section. Once again, we're not gonna see attachments here and we're not gonna see associated files. That's just a, that's a kind of a display name and not an internal name. So I'll click on any column that I do see I'll go up to the URL and I'll change the end of it once again to attachments. Now this is where you might be wondering well, why isn't he typing associated files? Um, when these templates create the attachments column they still create it called attachments and part of the provisioning process renames it to associated file. But at, at its core its internal name is still attachments. So I'll put that there, I'll hit enter. It'll take me to the column settings page, which shows us it is called associated files now as a display name. So I'll go ahead and rename that back to attachments here. And that's it. Let's go ahead and double check and make sure that that's stuck. Go click on new here. Scroll down and there we go, it's back to attachments. So you might be starting from different places, but the process is the same uh, in both cases. So good luck.